player has in fact expanded up there and they don't want those shenanigans to continue also oh my goodness looks like he's taking another one oh that's gonna get shut down by a banshee so there goes yep there goes the cancel good job there preventing their opponents from expanding oh the poor drone goes down and uh, looks like a roach spit in disgust on a zergling in order to um, you know just make him even again for killing that drone. Looks like Glory Box is going to be expanding to his natural, and so is the Terran player, and so is the Zerg player just going to be starting. So they're going to be expanding, and it looks like looks like China Farmer has expanded to the gold, but there is a Banshee there with seven kills, with eight kills, with, oh, just barely saved that one. But now he's going to be putting pressure on the expansion, so until he can actually stop that, looks like there is a drop on the way. So he may be able to clean that up. Oh, good little move by Derek. Going to force the cancel. There we go. It got canceled and the drone killed again. And now he's just going to go ahead and run away if he can. Yeah, he could have run that way. But instead, he's going to actually surround these uh, these roaches. And he might actually have enough lings to do this. I don't know. Let's check the upgrades. We can see the roaches are at 1-1 and the zerglings are at 0-0. Zero, zero. So... Uh, those upgrades are going to play a pretty big part, but there are just so many Zerglings, I don't know. It looks like the Roaches, uh, it's so close, I can't even tell. And we'll never find out who is going to win, because you know what? Uh, I guess we will, the Roaches won. But uh, right when that happened, China Farmer came in with a big old group and managed to just uh, make sure make sure that that went the way his team wanted it to go. Looks like Derek Elite has his expansion almost up. As does the Terran player, WPS. Man, I, people with their names... Not that I'm hating on people's names, I'm just saying. It's kind of hard to pronounce. Like, Troll, thank you, Troll. Even if you might troll me, at least I can pronounce your name. Just saying. And China Farmer, too. <laughs> Sounds like a wow name. A couple of wow names. Troll and uh, China Farmer. All right. Looks like Glory Box has Blink now for his Stalkers. Also has 1-1-ups. One, one and, oh my goodness, look at this. Looks like plus two Zer Zerg Carapace going down for Troll. The only one who's really doing a good job of keeping up on upgrades. Everybody else has, like, no upgrades. I mean, stim and combat shields, but no actual, like, 1-1 or anything. And here comes a doom drop from China Farmer. It is going to be, oh, are they going to be able to stop it? It looks like Hellions are going to be reacting. And Hellions, not the best against tanks. Going to be doing a lot to, to Marines there. Oh, my goodness. And the, uh, the uh, wow, actually, it looks like, huh, looks like they did a pretty good job. At the same time, Troll going to be attacking into the natural of Derek Elite. And it looks like, uh, there are four Banshees here, though. And ba and uh, it looks like Roach is not the best against Banshees. LOL. But there are some Stalkers as well. And Stalkers are pretty good. But the offensive blink from Glory Box doing lots amounts of damage. And here comes some Siege Tanks. Are they going to be able to do any damage? I don't know. I think, uh, he's focusing them down. Another offensive blink. Oh, my goodness. And really just focusing on these Siege Tanks. Killing a ton of Siege Tanks and a ton of Roaches. And, that, and these uh, Stalkers blinking forward again. Great offensive blink. He's really doing a good job of doing damage and also making a shield so these Banshees and Hellions can just do all their damage that they possibly can do as well. And you can see here that it looks like, oh my goodness, they are pushing hard. Another offensive blink. And I don't know if the top team is going to be able to hold this. Yeah, Derek Elite is very impressed that the Stalkers were able to just totally own that army so quickly. And another offensive blink. There is still a lot of Banshees and a lot of Hellions. And I don't know, man. Uh, it looks like... Uh, it's Oh, it's so close. It's so close. Tank getting taken out. A couple of Stalkers left. That is it. And it looks like... Yep, looks like some Hellions going to be attacking into the natural here. There is still just a little fight going on here. Banshees don't have Cloak. Oh, no. Good little Micro, though, keeping the Banshees alive and able to take out more Stalkers than they probably should have. Oh, my goodness. And, oh, Infestors are out for Troll now. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Infestors are indeed out. And I'm just <laughs> trying to watch all the action here. But I don't know. Man, this gas. Everybody hates gas in this game. Just shooting those gas catchers. Oh, there's the fungal. And that fungal may actually kill it. Well, in, con in conjunction with the queen, it will. And look at this. Two two-ups for Troll. He gets the award for getting the most upgrades. Looks like Glory Box is going to be expanding to the gold very very good there no one taking this gold yet and i realized as i'm watching this game there is one gold there two golds three golds four golds five golds six golds in this map that is so much gold oh my goodness it's like ah oh, it's like looking at the treasury of a sultan there is so much gold on this map goodness gracious now it looks like troll and china farmer 
gonna be moving around here. Maybe do a little bit of a uh, little bit of attacking the rocks action. And <laughs> I don't know. Derek Elite is a little bit paranoid about that. Gonna be getting some uh, a couple of a couple of banelings, and by a couple I mean quite a few. So that's always good. Some Hellion's gonna go in here and just do a little damage. And it looks like there's gonna be a uh, bloop a fungal, but still managing. Man, that looks like such a painful death. Goodness gracious. Uh, I thought there was a battle here. Nope. There's wherever there's big mixtures of colors where it looks like a tie dye pattern. That's where you know the battle is, and it looks like the armies are joining. And uh, kind of an awkward spot for the bottom team, actually. Bottom team actually, because Glorybox has his army totally cut off from the other guys. Glorybox does say he has DTs though, and oh, there's the DT, and he's going to be in the na in the natural of troll, causing some damage. Look at this baller. He's up to four kills. He's up to oh, he got fungled and revealed. But he's going to keep killing. There's four kills, five kills. Banelings rolling in. Banelings, Banelings, Banelings. Oh, causing huge amounts of damage. And looks like a couple of Hellions and Banshees. And oh my goodness, Battle Cruisers are out. Yay! So all kinds of techs. Everybody going different stuff at this point in the game. And it looks like the battle is about to be joined again. China Farmer sending in some Medivacs with nobody inside of them. And I don't know why he would do that. Maybe to just soak up some damage. Buy some time, or maybe it was just a miss rally. That could be too. Oh no! Infestors have neural parasite, and they are sticking their arms out, or whatever those things are. They are infesting those battle cruisers. Battle cruisers have had enough of that infestation, and they are going to go ahead and back out. Also, that's a lot of marines, but there's a lot of banelings and zerglings here, and I think they kind of need glory boxes. Um, so, oh my goodness, huge amounts of banelings there, but I think they do need glory boxes units in order to hold this off. I don't know. There are a few Vikings and other stuff. You can see on the minimap, Glory Box is going to go ahead and come over. And is he going to be in time? I don't know. It was three armies versus two armies, and that's the danger of splitting your armies up. There are a lot of Stalkers, and they do have Blink and some Immortals. Immortals really good against uh, pretty much everything in this army, except maybe the Infestors. So we're going to have to see what kind of damage they can do. Is he going to do an offensive Blink in? I hope so, because there are tanks and all kinds of other crazy stuff. So here we go. There go the force fields down. Lots of damage being done. And oh man, these battle cruisers are so happy, especially this guy with 50 health. He's so happy that people are taking damage for him so he can go ahead and do his damage. Yoshi trying to expand here, but the offensive blink by Glory Box, in addition to the battle cruisers of his teammate, are going to totally shut that down. Oh no, there are some infestors though, and we can get some good fungals off. Great fungal going off there. My goodness. That was a money fungal if ever I did see one. But, oh, does he not? He doesn't have burrow. Oh, no. Troll, you always need to get burrow if you have infestors. But it looks like, boom, both of those infestors are going to go down like a sack of Campbell's soup. That's exploding. I know they come in cans. Don't overthink it. It's a sack of Campbell's soup exploding. <clears throat> and it looks like Glory Box in conjunction with his teammate WPS, however you pronounce the last part of that name, is going to be pushing in, and I don't know. It looks like there's also Zerglings going to be running all over the place in Trolls base, and here comes what could be the final attack. I don't know if they can actually hold this off. He does have, it looks like, a Siege Tank that is just now dying. China Farmer going to go ahead and GG out, so now it is two on three, and at this point I'm feeling a lot more confident. Troll leaving as well. So now it is one on three. And I think that is going to sum it up. It looks like Glory Box and his team is going to take this game. Really, really good game. Epic game on all sides. And just remember, guys, remember your upgrades. That's one thing I would say. Not that I'm trying to pick this game apart, but remember your upgrades. Troll did a good job of upgrading. And also, attack with all of your armies at the same place. And defend with all your armies at the same place. And that way, you will have the best chance possible to not get totally rolled and end up winning. Good job and congratulations to Glory Box for taking down this game and securing the victory with his teammates. Look forward to some pro replays coming at you tomorrow through Friday. And I will leave you with this thought. Go out there on Battle.net and slay some noobs. See you guys.